and today uh, we will look into how you can use your calendar and uh, how you can make appointments and how you can prepare the schedule of doctors that work at your clinic so right now if you see I have multiple facilities and I can see the calendar of all the facilities if I select all facilities or if I want to just see the calendar for just one I can do that if I want to see the calendar of all users I can do that for that particular facility and now I'm just going to look at all the facilities right now for example Dr. Nation has his entire schedule listed properly and so he is in the office at 9 o'clock in the morning and he leaves at 5 o'clock so he's having lunch between 1 and 1.45 and so he's ready to see patients during that time now but Dr. Saunders has not prepared his schedule and without the doctor entering their schedule you cannot make an appointment in the way that you want to or you cannot find appointment slots for the doctors so let's prepare a schedule for Dr. Saunders so if you go and click add here and there are two tabs one is for the patient and one is for the provider for the time being we are going to start with the provider and it says in office so essentially from the 7th of November onwards he will be in office from 9 a.m. and he will be repeating that for the next two years he will be in this facility so you can select which is the service facility the building facility doesn't matter at this stage the providers name is this one if he wants to see a preferred category of patients he can do that over here but right now he is going to be in office so we are doing that then we have to see when he'll be out of the office so now if you look he is there from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. we'll also give him a lunch time automatically it is taken as 60 and uh, I will show you later on this series where you can define uh, the duration for each kind of uh, calendar events oh, I forgot to repeat it so there you have it so what happens is let's say you want to make an appointment for a patient so you come here either you can click on this time slot here or you can click on add and you can say automatically that time slot is picked up and you can make an appointment for the doctor and the patient you can search for the patient So now if you mouse over you can see the details of that appointment. Now if you wanted to add some comments
so you have made the appointment this is how easy it is to make an appointment with our calendar system and you can go here and check the weekly calendars we are already on the week so monthly or for the day now let's assume that today the patient came in if you double click on that it will take you to the patient's demographic page where again you can see his appointments over here and when the patient walks in you can say arrived which will automatically create the encounter for that particular patient so now all the doctor has to do is to go here and select today's encounter and he can start uh, inputting the soap notes or progress notes or whatever that he wants to do now uh, certain things that you wanted to know would be this is where you enter categories in the calendar for example this is for the patients and it is a new category that you can start using it otherwise this is the one that has already been created for established patients and you can pick a color to show that and here is where you enter the duration and you can keep adding for example this is what we did for in office Also, there is one other area where you put the calendar details over here where you define the working time of your office and calendar intervals to show in the available time slot you can mention it here as well now when you go back to the calendar and let's say somebody is calling up and wants to know if the doctor is available for a particular date so let's say that somebody called and said he wants to meet with dr saunders on a particular day you can give that day let's say seven and for the next seven days what are his available slot or next five days so you will get those available slots here and you can select the one that you want and of course the patient's name and you can save it so that has shown up here now I did not give any comments on the uh, appointment slot so it will not show up but if I had it will show up like this this is how easy it is to make the calendar and schedule an appointment in open EMR thank you